Greetings, critical viewers. We're back with more Silent Hill 4. And now, we have to- WHAT THE- Are you freaking kidding me? Come on, Eileen. Let's get going. Um, we gotta go up a couple more. Here? Yeah, this is it. Come with me. I'll protect you, I guess. Pistol bullets? Probably shouldn't. <laughs> this is a nightmare. It can't be happening. I know. Some kind of skin. It smells horrible. There's something stuck in it. Around the middle of the skin, there's still some meat attached on the inside. Ew! There are all sorts of medicines, but I don't know what any of them are. Yes, Henry. We get it. You don't know anything about hospitals. Alright, so we've got four more on each side that we need to explore. Those monstrosities are on the other side, so we don't need to worry about them. What's that? Oh no, I already have a Saint Medallion. Thanks. And I've, I've even got a holy candle now. There's no need to have another anti sp Whoa, okay. All right. Anything in here? Nope, just a trap. It's just It's just an awful trap, that's all. Ugh. This long thing. What the hell is it? Some kind of umbilical cord? Uh, I don't know. That's a really long umbilical cord, dude. Oh, what the fuck? Alright. Alright, hang on a second. It's alright, Eileen. Oh! Ew, she looks pregnant. It's weird. It's like she represents Walter's mother or something. I don't know. It's a sterile room. Alright. Okay, so that totally wasn't worth... Oh my god. Hi. Oh! A nutrition drink! No, won't take it yet. Because I don't want to use up that last slot. Which one is the sterile room? Oh, I don't know. Why are you asking me that? Okay, we got three more rooms to explore. Give it a rest. What the? Oh my god, those things are everywhere now. Eh. Hello? Oh man, that stinks like hell. What the hell is it? I don't know, dude. This, this is not really... Ugh. One more room. Hello? Lots of hooks in here. What? That terrible smell. What's behind this cloth? I don't know, dude, but I'm not gonna stick around and find out. Holy shit. Alright, let's see if we can get Eileen back to the hole. Come on, Eileen. Eileen! Eileen! Eileen, maybe if I just go, she'll come with me. This doesn't really seem like the type of thing where she can get hurt. What? She's not with me. Uh, sorry, Eileen. Come on, come on, come on, Eileen. Come on. This way. Right here. That's right. We did it. Ugh. Okay, let's try to get back to that hole. Sheesh. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck. Come on, Eileen. Run, 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 run. Um, where exactly? Okay, in the washroom. Ugh. We barely made it. Alright, let's go. Enter the hole. Yes.
What's gonna happen now? All right, welcome to my apartment, I guess. Does this mean we slept together? Or did she wake up in her apartment? Eileen, she's gone. Weird, what happened when she went through the hole then? Dude, you take a long time to get out of bed. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh my god. What the fuck? I don't think you can even use these. The air in this room feels heavy. The ceiling fan has fallen down. This room, it's so oppressive. Alright. Don't worry about it. Put stuff in the box. It'll be great. Okay. Here. I've got an idea. Put the nutrition brink, the nutrition brink, the nutrition drink back. Paper cutting knife too, because I don't think that that's worth anything. Eileen only weapon. I should have given it to her. I didn't even think about it. God. Let's save before we go on. Return from hospital world. <laughs> Such original names. Let's check up on Eileen. All right, Robbie Rabbit. Whatever the hell you're supposed to be. There's a note. Yes, you can't open the door. Congratulations. Oh, although some of the locks are coming off. That's good. Red envelope. There's a letter and a small key inside. You've seen that world as well, that horrible nightmare. But if you get sucked into it, it's not just a nightmare. Don't get lost in there. If you get pulled in, you'll be killed. But there's still hope. Maybe this small key will guide you. If you've seen the door with the placard set in it, look on the other side of the door. Then keep going down to the deepest part of him and look for the ultimate truth. Joseph. Got the small key. A small but ordinary key found in the red envelope. What's this stuff over here? I didn't even look at these. What? What are these? The weather that day was very strange. Even though I avoided the earlier storm, there was still a thick fog clinging to everything. Fortunately, that allowed me to avoid being seen and get right to work. The police are still stubbornly acting as if it's just a copycat case, so I figured things probably hadn't been touched here, but I was wrong. I should have come sooner. The cemetery was in such bad condition that it was almost sad. The storm must have raised the sea level. Anyway, that's how it was when I found Walter Sullivan's grave. The star is pretty damaged around this point and I can't read it anymore. I'm still in shock. There was no body in the grave, and on top of that, written on the coffin were the numbers 11 out of 21. June 14th. Hmm. So Walter Sullivan killed himself. As part of this out of 21 thing. Walter Sullivan did kill himself. He died in his prison cell of blood loss after he stabbed himself in the neck with his spoon. Ow. His body was buried in a cemetery just outside his hometown of Silent Hill in an unmarked grave. In other words, the person was killed two and a half years after Sullivan committed suicide. 
The M.O. was exactly the same as Sullivan's, except for one thing. All ten of Sullivan's victims were found with their hearts cut out and their chest wounds sewn together expertly with thread. On the other hand, the 12 out of 21 victims still had their heart. Naturally, the police think it's a copycat and are proceeding on that basis, but they haven't made any progress and recently discovered victim number 31 or er, 13. This corpse also had their heart intact. The police still haven't even identified a suspect. I've got a working hypothesis. Very few people n knew the details of the original crimes and would be able to copy Sullivan's MO so precisely. First, I'll head to Silent Hill, to the graveyard near that beautiful little lake. Maybe I'll find the answer there. June 11th. All right. Let's look at the last one. How long has it been since I left this room? I can't tell if it's been days or hours. But during that time, they found the body of 14 out of 21. I've been having hallucinations lately. I think I'm losing my mind. Damn. Joseph, huh? All right. Well, great. <laughs> I'm going to save again. This room is making me feel uneasy now. Wait a second. My health is not regenerating. Is that offer expired or... Oh my god, if I can't heal anymore, that's not good. That might be why I found so many healing items in the hospital world. Okay. Um, in that case, I will definitely have to keep some of these. Probably gonna keep the portable medical kit. Um, other than that, I think I actually want to take some ammo. Damn it. I was hoping it would give me 20. All right. Well, with that, I think we're going to have to go back. Because, oh. Ooh, lots of voices. Because I, I left Eileen, and that's not good. We need to go get her. And I need to give her her handbag so she can defend herself, at least. Well, assuming that she's still there. Oh, Henry. Oh. Have you been here the whole time? Yeah, and I didn't see any hole either. You just disappeared all of a sudden. I can't stay here by myself. I'll be cursed. You know it. What am I gonna do? I might know a way to save you. Do you know about someone named Joseph? Investigation about a religious cult and a man named Walter Sullivan. I got this letter from him. He told me to go down, down into the deepest part of him, and to look for the ultimate truth. Let's do that. There must be something down there. Two things. First of all, flickering textures everywhere. Oh my god, I have no idea why it's doing that. Actually, I think it might be because I'm playing this on a PS3 and I've got, like, smoothing on or something. I don't know, that might be it. Actually, let's test it out real quick. Uh... Wait. Ah. Let's see if that does it. Nope, they just flicker. That's weird. They just flicker on their own. 
Side note, everything looks crappier with smoothing off, so we'll turn it back on. This is some behind the scenes stuff that you guys are getting to see. All right, so, by the way, do you want a handbag? What? Oh, she pulls it out if I have it equipped. Huh, okay. Well, good. So the question remains, what is with this small key? I guess we'll find out. And uh, the second thing is, uh, that music was really cool. All right, so let's look at locked doors. There are none over there, so it looks like we gotta try it on either the elevator or that other room over there. Ugh. Okay, come with me, Eileen. Ugh. Actually, I don't know if I need to do this. I might just need to axe him. Well, yeah, we'll, tr we'll try the axe, see how that works. Oh, fuck. What, did you just burp? They burp. What the hell is going on? Oh, yeah. What the hell? That's so weird. Why is she burping? Okay, I got kind of smashed by that, so I need to... Cool. Thanks. The good thing is now we can kind of move around freely, which is what I wanted to do. And I was concerned about Eileen. You okay? Uh -huh. Good. Hello. Use the small key. Alright. So then it must be the elevator. Either that or go... What? Excuse me! Okay, I was... I was what? Oh, it's just because I'm walking over them. Weird. Okay, uh, let's do the small key. Nope. It doesn't want to. Okay, so... Hmm. Is there something... Wasn't there... Was there something that was locked? Wait, these are stairs. Oh god, the textures. I don't know why they're doing that. Man, I cannot play a Silent Hill game without getting graphical imperfections like that. Well, I guess I didn't encounter any with Silent Hill 3, but in 2, I had all these weird blank textures as a result of playing it on the Xbox. The boy that helped me. I wonder if he's okay. Who gives a shit? Ah, eh, well, I guess he did help you out. That's good. Excuse me. Holy crap, it's doing it a lot. I don't know why it's doing it so much. Really starting to bug me. All right, we gotta figure out where we need to go. Ugh. Where does this small key go to? Was there some sort of hint? All right, hang on, you guys. I'm gonna figure this out. Oh, what is this? I didn't even see this before. Oh, you called the elevator. Oh! Oh! Good thing we got out of there, huh, Eileen? All right. Wait a second. Ugh, excuse me. Textures. Ah. I'll stop bitching about it, I promise. Aha! Ooh, ew. Oh my god, that's what I had to do. Come, Eileen. Wait, what? Oh no, did I leave you behind? I didn't mean to leave you behind. Crap, I've done that twice now. Uh, okay. Such a bad, bad host. Or escort. Am I an escort? Henry's an escort. Oh, God. Alright, let's go. Is that... Alright. Ah, yes! What?! <laughs> It makes the burping sound. Oh, <laughs> oh we down the stairs. 
Ah! Damn it. I'm really bad at this. Ah! What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> this is just so silly! You shithead! Damn it! Don't worry about me. Can't believe you have to stomp on them. Ow! Don't hurt Eileen. Ow! Yes! Oh my god, that's too... that's too weird. Why is it so weird? Also, why did I kill them? Oh yes, because I didn't want Eileen to get hurt, because she clearly gets hurt. And we don't want that to happen. Okay. What is this? Hmm. There's the sign of Metatron or whatever symbol, I should say. Oh. This isn't a very nice place. Well, whatever. We're in Walter's world now. Hmm. He's not exactly a bunch of sunshine and rainbows now, is he? He's a dark person with a dark past. Whatever. I have no sympathy. Holy crap. These go down quite a ways. At least I assume we're going down. Yeah. Okay. We'll go across the bridge thingy here. What is... What? Where does this go? Does this, does this go back to my apartment? Eh, it's okay. What is this place? Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Come on. <laughs> it's a club, Eileen. Can't you see? Isn't it obvious? Whenever they start playing music, we'll get to dance. And you'll have that girls' night out, sorta. Except just no girls. You'll have Henry instead. Oh, man, what is this? We get to go through here. Henry, catch your breath. I know you're out of shape, but geez, man, you gotta pull it together.